We all know what a bank is. A bank is where you basically put your cash uh, for safekeeping for future use. A biobank is the same principle, except what you're banking is biological specimens, blood and tissue for future use. So for example, a patient has a biopsy in 2010. A diagnosis is made. But not every piece of tissue is needed for that diagnosis. They may be very, very small, virtually microscopic pieces, which are not needed. Those will be put away for future evaluation. Perhaps three, four, five years from now, the patient will return, will require another biopsy. That biopsy is examined, but now, in, with four years of time going on, we may want to go back and look at the original biopsy. We can take that tissue out of storage and reevaluate it, not just by looking through a microscope, but perhaps by applying molecular techniques that did not exist four years earlier. So we can follow a patient for many years and keep reevaluating their status, comparing their new disease uh, with their old disease.